Hi, Scotty, I'm back. So, this is how the dogs turned out. For this one, I did the backgrounding around the edges. For this one, I attempted to do the background of the dog. I think I like that one quite a bit. And what I would like to show you is I tried to do a little bit of stamping around the edge of the bevel and I didn't like how it was just a hard stop. So as I went along and got better at it, I did kind of a bit of an angle so that there was a more gradual transition and I think that looked a lot nicer. And then I tried to be more sparing and just do the outline of him rather than do the whole area because that's a lot of individual hits with a small tool. And I thought I'd try to make his eyes look a little less um, unusual by giving him a little dot for an eye with my cedar tool. Like uh, planting seeds is what it's supposed to be like for a seed pod and a flower. I don't think it really had the effect of making his eyes look more normal, but that's what I did. So let's lighten up this edge here real quick. There we go. If you're going to do a large area, you do want to hold the tool as parallel. The face of the tool is parallel to your leather as possible, but if you're just going to do a bit around the edge, you can hold it a bit of an angle so that you've got a harder impression at your cut and bevel line and a lighter impression on the edge so it feathers or lightens up. And I may sometimes in these videos say bevel something when I really mean bevel the outside line around the object that should be in the foreground. Okay, I'm hoping you can see the difference between this lower section and this upper section where I was able to hold the tool at a pretty steep angle and slightly tilted and that made that nice feathering effect Whereas here I held it at a 90 degree angle towards the cut line. And even though I was trying to hold at an angle, it's still you can see the individual hits. So if you make any mistakes, remember that water and pressure are your friends and they'll help fix any mistakes. And if you over stamp into an edge, water and pressure will help help with that. So that's all I can think of right now, Scotty. Let me know what your questions are. Love you. Bye-bye.